Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Andy. I hope you're doing really well. Today I am going to be doing a little bit of a flip through with my 2021 reading journal. I feel like this time of year we're all looking for inspiration as we're thinking about our 2023 setups. And so I figure this little flip through maybe gives you some inspiration on some simple spreads that you might try. I don't know. I also just love looking back at reading journals. That first page that you saw, that was a little theme snapshot from the year. This is the classic bookshelf page followed by just the pages of my lists. I love this setup because it's really user friendly and I feel like it gives me more than enough space to write down all the books that I've read throughout the year. So many books. All right, this series list, although I don't love the washi tape pairing I made, I really liked how easy it was for me to see my status with different series. So I might do something similar next year. Classics favorite page. If you want to pause and check to see what some of my favorites were from 2021, you should do that. These were all excellent books. Got to practice some calligraphy. All right, so this is, <laughs> I, I fell in love with washi tape this year. And so I really wanted to play around with washi tapes in any way that I could. Um, I'm also not very artistic. So as you can see, I did a little line art that I totally recreated from Pinterest. And then you'll see, this is how I do my reading journal. I set it up so that I can enter in whatever I want to about the book. Now we're into February. As you can see, I love these really simple cover pages where I have my TBR on one side and the name of the month on the other. I did some readathons this month. Um, I love setting up those kinds of spreads, especially the bingo boards. And again, you'll see me going through the journal entries for each book. I've also played with the idea of like adding the book covers here. It's just a bit of a pain to cut and cut and glue that. Now this is the very beginning of my long, long list of all the romance books I want to get to. It has since grown from 2021 when I originally made it, but that's, you know, the beginning stages. Into March, I went for a little green floral theme again with the washi tapes. That JoJo's Rex, um, those are books I wanted my sister to read, so I made a little list. Did a Women's History Month readathon. And then again, more of my book entries. So I took this spread, this inspiration from plant-based bride. I know she does stats pages like that, so that was fun to try. Here's my April spread. I took inspiration from so many content creators while making these spreads in 2021. I'll try and list as many of them as I can in the description box, but just know so many of these were like my attempts to be more artsy, so I didn't come up with a lot of ideas on my own into May. I love a little simple spread, something that is clean and doesn't take too much time to set up. I was also playing with the idea of doing individual pages for the different book clubs that I'm in. So these were two book clubs that I was in last year. And again, the book pages. All right, for June, we did a little LGBTQIA plus theme, did some readathons. Again, I love setting up those little bingo board or prompt setups for readathons. I feel like that's a goal for mine in 2023 is to participate in more readathons. And again, lots of book entries. July, I went for something really simple. And this feather right there, that's actually uh, washi tape. It's not hand-drawn. If you want any of the 
materials or the products that I use, leave those in the comments down below and I'll try and respond with either a link or a little information on where I purchased some of the materials. All right, for August, this was my first dabble into collage. I love this spread. I love the color theme. My TBR was really small. This is also when I started to realize that TBRs really stressed me out. So I kind of minimized those. Um, into September. Again, I love a really simple spread. These are actually a stamp pads, a stamp set that I got. Um, in September, I did a Becca's Bookopolathon readathon, and that was really fun. I had a good time like recreating her her board. I think she does it every year, so it's a good old time. Ooh, a very spooky theme. I totally recreated this off of something I saw from Pinterest. If I can find the link, I'll leave it down below, but it was so cute. This is my layout for Black a thon from 2021. Uh, it was a moderately successful readathon. This part of the year, I last year, I do remember kind of feeling a bit slumpy in October and November, and you can totally see that in how many books I read. November, I went for a little abstract look. And I read only four books, which for me is really unusual, but there were some good ones. From December, I love a really simple, again, easy to draw. I think I got this wreath inspiration from maybe Caitlin's Corner. So if I can find the video, I'll link it down below. These are my last little book entries. Yeah, and then I always, in the very back, I put like a little index. That way it's a little bit easier for me to flip through to see by author's name what books I read and what page they're on. So that was my reading journal from 2021. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I love these reading journals. Each year it looks a little different. My spreads change. Um, but yeah, I love reading journals. I'm excited to set my 2023 one up. That's all I got for you today. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.